Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Now I'm going to tie the uh, small thin bodied sulfur for the west branch. I'm going to use some uh, light yellow thread and I'm also going to use the yellow transparent synthetic quill. You can see on these top ones, I, I tied a few. You can see that transparent yellowish color. But with the yellow thread underneath, it's going to make it come out pretty good. So I'm going to start it here. And I have a size 18 standard dry fly hook, size 18. And I'm going to bring that thread right back to put the tail on first. And I'm going to stop just inside the point of the hook. And then I'm going to take micro fibbits. I'm going to take three micro fibbits. Two or three. Actually, this one I got two. But you need at least two to stabilize the fly. I don't think the trout can count. We're going to go ahead and tie this on. I'm holding a little bit towards my side. Give it the loose loop. Pull it straight down. We got it right on top. Give it maybe three turns and then you could go ahead and pull that to size. And a quick tip for you. Your tying table. I have a kind of a pastel green mat on the table itself so I can you know for my background color and it keeps your eye strained down okay now while I'm here I'm gonna take one of the synthetic quills and these are tapered you can see how small it gets I'm gonna tie this in actually going to hold the sticky side toward me I'm going to right now I'm going to twist my thread clockwise because it was shooting forward when you do it clockwise then the thread pushes towards the back without having to give it the loose loop okay I'm now I got a couple of wraps on there I'm going to put a wrap underneath the tail And I'm going to bring that up, get some nice tight turns so you get that color in there. So that red color will come through. And I'm going to trim off those micro fibbits. And now at this point, you can actually go back on it. You don't want, you want to maintain a very skinny body. But you could go back on it and actually make a little bit of a taper and again it's not going to matter to the fish if you're using you can tie this with just thread for the body and you can make a nice tapered body with it now you could put the uh, wing on now or you could go ahead and wrap your body I'm going to go ahead and put the wing on and that wing is just the cream or yellowish poly yarn. I'm going to go ahead and give that a loose loop maybe two three times and then we're going oh, got a little bit underneath there then we're going to give it the figure eight and back to the front front to the back and back to the front again now if you plan on you could just use this as a spinner with if they're out there and again you could just pull them up and that will make the done wing get that close and I'm leaving that wing long once again just to be able to control it and not catch fibers. I'm going to wrap that 
quill. And this one came out pretty nice. I always turn it so I can see the point of the hook there on my first turn. See the point of that hook better. And we're getting a little segmented body there. We're going to bring that right up. The only I, I you know, I will say I, I'm honest all the time. Everything that I say in my videos and these quills, I mean, you could get two small flies out of these quills, but then the taper is kind of gets too big. So that's that's like the drawback to that. So if you could find skinny quills that are the same size like that small all the way up that's that's great I'm gonna fold that back a little bit and put two wraps on it there we go now I can trim that off just going to take my poke and snip and touch that and as you can see I could get one more but then it's gonna get too big and the dark color on there actually overpowers it. Bring my thread back. Oh, I got one wild one there. You might not see it, but you will here in a second. I'm going to put the flame to it. Whoop. Right down. Now I'm going to take just a small amount of the uh, of the sulfur dubbing and mine is predominantly orange it's actually orange sulfur orange but I'm just trying to pick out small enough amount that it comes out looking yellow and you only need a very small amount it kinda kinda looks a little bit orange but it'll do and get that right in there get my wrap started now I'm going to figure eight this just a little bit of dubbing underneath on that thorax and bring that up front and again you can hold your wing back there a little bit when you figure eight it and it will actually make it look more like a done like right now it's nice held back there put a couple wraps take our whip finish yeah three to five three to six wraps with the whip finish when you have something small like this I would go with the three give it the poke and snip clean my brush off pretty good actually need more and I think I may have got some in the eye if I don't shake too much here I'll put this feather through it ha huh. perfect first try and that cleans the eye out now I'm going to take you can see they're divided there still take my scissors and you only want the wing to be the size of the length of the body And, there we go and now when you're fishing this you know if you decide you want to use it as a spinner just grab the wings and pull them down here is a nice I got one long one there still yep there it is this is a nice little sulfur size 18 this will work and you can actually tie it on a size 18 hook and tie the, tie the whole thing a little bit smaller if you want to get a 20 and you'll still have an 18 gap there. Just kind of fan that feather out there a little bit or that wing out there a little bit. Yeah, I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. 
Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase this or any flies that I tie, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it there, simply send me a message and we'll discuss what you're looking for. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.